But anyway, so Roberta, what do you have for us today? I was thinking, I was like, what's something that's going to really hit, right? Thinking about what we have in the economy going on right now, debt ceiling, all that. So we're talking about greed today. Yay. Sweet. Yeah. That's a good one to start yeah, with. Yeah, right? So before we get into it, I want to ask you guys, when you hear or think of greed, like what's the first thing that comes to your mind? JP? Uh, yeah. Um, first thing that comes to my mind when it comes to greed is um, taking from others mm -hmm. um, to benefit yourself um, and also not appreciating and being content with what you already have. Mm hmm Totally makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, not to be one of those people, but I think of corp corporate greed mm -hmm. because, and it's the same concept, but like you will stop mm -hmm. at nothing. Nothing makes a difference. I want what I want and I'll take it from whoever I need to take it from because it's all about me and yeah, what I dog. want. Yeah. Dog eat dog. Dog eat dog. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. To to climb up the ladder, you got to pull others down, right? That sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good. So you guys are like basically spot on. Um, I, of I thought, you know, instead of us going, <laughs> diving more into like the religious aspect of it, I think if we do something like a little bit more all encompassing um, and just the understanding of, greed itself would be really good because you not not yeah. everybody has that religious connection right and so like mm -hmm. starting when we talked about it it was good just because that's what we know it from you hear seven deadly sins it makes you think of religion right but you know in general it's mm -hmm. something that um it's kind of a societal thing as well right right yeah yeah Very, uh, especially nowadays i think people yes. hold on. I think people don't even recognize it over the past no. couple of years. Or it's celebrated, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. So the official definition per Merriam-Webster, um, greed is a selfish and excessive desire for more of something, whether it be money, material possessions it could even be like food it could be property anything that you can think of you just want it more in excess right and of course money we think of money when we think of greed as well and it's more than what is needed right okay and so yeah it could be there's this material gain it's also associated with like an uncontrolled longing um and it is it create it, in its history as greed as long as it's existed there has been this under undesirableness to it right because it creates this behavior conflict scenario your behavior is greed mm -hmm. what is the conflict that arises from your greed right yeah um yeah and so oftentimes especially within history and has as it has gone throughout decades and decades mm -hmm. um centuries even it has been thought to be a part or uh leading up to what's called the dark triad which mm -hmm. is it's it's i'm sorry it's the dark triad of personality is what it's called so it's <laughs> this is a fun one Machiavellianism. Whoa. <laughs> Machiavellianism. JP, that's <laughs> a new one for you. What do, what do you guys think of when you hear Machiavellianism? Tupac. I, yeah, Tupac. me too. <laughs> I was going to say me too. <laughs> Immediately. <Hail Mary. laughs> no, it totally makes me think of Tupac too. I think that's how you could tell we're all California. <laughs> Like it was instantly, it was yes, album. yes, but uh, more of um, uh, Machiavellianism is like getting rid of those who may not necessarily want to live that sort of life. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. Machiavelli is a very interesting character and we could go more into him, but I'm not going to. But one of the things that always stands out to be a, to me about Machiavelli is when the Irish potato famine was going on mm-hmm. and um, like people couldn't feed their families, couldn't feed their kids. Couldn't make no liquor. Potatoes. Couldn't make liquor, right? <laughs> oh, God, the Irish country. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, um, yeah. It's the darkest actually, era of their existence, I'm dark, sure. Terrible. That's why so many left. They just couldn't, they couldn't get their booze, man. They had to find it elsewhere. Um, he suggested that the Irish um, eat their kids because they had oh. more excess of that than potatoes. So this is a person? This is a person, yes. Oh my god. Yes. Machiavelli. Um and his first name is uh Malcolm. Malcolm Machiavelli, I believe it is. Oh, that's a cool name. Yes. And so there's Machiavellianism, this dark triad still, narcissism, and psychopathy. And those are and all related not, to Yeah, it's it's the dark triad in which I guess it makes Ooh. you Yeah. The worst I'm, person I'm ever. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> apparently. So what was um, it? Narcissism? Narcissism? Psycho- psychopathy. Being a psychotic, essentially. And Machiavellianism. Wow. So you yeah. don't necessarily have to be, does it, or well, I, mean, I guess I should ask. With greed, c- could it also be something that's not tangible? Thereby, like, greed for um accolades absolutely for, yeah okay yeah yeah i you know oftentimes it is reduced to something that is tangible something material however i don't think it has to be uh and especially like Attention. you said JP, yes let's let's bring this into the modern world right uh yep. something that we crave is that attention think of uh six seconds of fame. yes um uh youtubers that kind of stuff the people who come and go us us right yeah. we're greedy for views and <laughs> listens yeah um, yeah hit that like, like button subscribe it. i'm greedy what's for it. it what's the other I one hit it ring that bell for notifications if to hear us whenever yes. we come on or some shit. Yeah. 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 And that's exactly it. It's almost like that um, instant gratification that we get, right? And especially from social media. So that's hilarious. People, I get that from mowing my lawn. The instant gratification. Oh, yeah, I oh, yeah. That. That's different, though, because you've put in the hard work. You you know you busted your ass mowing your lawn. I do the same thing. After I'm done with my yard work, I will go to the sidewalk and like mm-hmm. sit there and just look at it and be like, I did that. I did that, <laughs> right? Because you yeah. I'm prideful yourself. because it looks better than my neighbors. There you go. <laughs> we're we're not on pride yet. Don't go there. I'm Don't just, I'm just I'm okay. No, you're fine. You're fine. I still put um, cologne on for this podcast. I love it. Oh, Oh, we're going to have a field day with pride when we get there. Oh, boy. Um, we're yes. talking about greed. So Talking about greed. But you're right. It, it, it is. It's the accolades. It's almost as if there's like an addiction to it, right? And so that addiction sort of feeds that greed or vice versa, depending on how you want to look at it. Wow. So that's an excellent point, JP. Could be considered a disease of sorts, couldn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or, or or a condition or a condition yeah, yeah. So, in the modern I mean, day yeah yeah so anyone mm-hmm. that's l- legit uh, uh not allergic addicted to drugs would be considered greedy, greedy. right because they can't like they'll do whatever it takes to get mm-hmm. get it even though they can't really this... control it yeah, and they just and want in a more way. and more and more of it, right? Good segue. Yep. Yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it'll never be enough. It's ne- yeah. Yep. It's it's um it, it never a satisfaction, right? Yeah. There's, so never there's being, always... You're never content. Never yeah. content. Exactly. And that is actually a part of greed. You're never content. You're constantly wanting more and more and more. Um so I'm writing notes. Talk- that's why 
I awesome. was able to make the connection quicker. <laughs> so let's kind of, <laughs> you're so funny, go down a little bit deeper. Yeah. What do you think the initial motivation for greed is? Ooh. JP, do you want me to go or you want to go? Yeah, oh, yeah. No, I'm lost. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, what was it again? What is the uh, initial the, motivation Initial for greed motivation is? for greed. I would say um, status or sometimes even um, desperation, maybe. Like mm. you're, you are in a position where you've never experienced wealth or um you know a good situation and then all of a sudden you get it and the feeling of getting it is better than not having anything at all so you become greedy in the sense that you you have to get more get more and more and more because you're addicted to that feeling but it it um comes or it stems from like not having anything. And then the other one is just, what was the other one I was thinking? Um, status. Like I want status. to be, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are mine. Or powerful. Mm -hmm. Serotonin. Yeah. Mm. So again, going back to that immediate gratification, right? Mm hmm. The right, dopamine, is that what you're? Is oh. Yeah, the dopamine. Dopamine, dopamine yeah. serotonin. Yeah. Yeah. The happy feeling that it gives you, even yep. if it is fleeting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I like both of those. I love them. Um, so there could be two different schools of thought, really, when it comes to greed. So like you were saying, it could be a promotion of personal or possibly family survival. Because sometimes mm. what's spurring greed is, man, I'm just trying to survive. I'm just trying to live in this world, right? And then what happens if you find success in doing what you're doing and that greed monster takes a hold of you and you're like, ooh, and you continue to think I'm doing this for, for my family. I'm doing this for self-preservation, right. right? Well, but maybe it doesn't go there anymore. You know, as always in life, there's mm -hmm. balance, right? Mm -hmm. So where greed would be negative, mm -hmm. you can... You can be greedy about a positive. Mm -hmm. you, you take joy in being altruistic and doing things for others. Yeah. You know? We're going to circle back to that one. So I want you to keep that All in right. your back pocket. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. interesting. I see where you're yeah. going, but yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to revisit that. Um, it could also, if you think about it. So on one hand, you have trying to survive right that can mm -hmm. stem it on the other hand you have the intent to deny or obstruct somebody else's survival 